What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have some important announcement to make and you should save your iOS 10.3.1 blobs more than ever now. Why? Well I'm going to tell you why in a couple of seconds so let's get involved. iOS 10.3.2 beta 5 has been released today and it's, as you can see 27 April 2017 and iOS 10.3.2 beta 5. I do not know for sure, but this might be the GM or Gold Master variant of the iOS 10.3.2, which means the latest version of the beta. And um, if this happens, it means that iOS 10.3.2 is nearly released, which means that after a couple of days or a week, Apple is going to unsign the iOS 10.3.1 after they released 10.3.2. Why is that important? Because of the Pangu jailbreak that was demoed at Jenna's conference that was for iOS 10.3 to 10.3.1. So nothing about the 10.3.2 and uh, I'm pretty confident when, when I'm saying that it might not work on 10.3.2. It might, it might or might not. We do not know. If you want to learn more about the jailbreak and you didn't hear the news, probably you didn't. You can go ahead in here on this video that I made, also this one in here. In this one I presented what they demoed and in this one I have also talked about some important things you need to know about the fact that Pangu might not release this jailbreak. This is very important. We do not know if Pangu will release this jailbreak. It's not the first jailbreak Pangu demos without releasing, so we do not know. But if they do, it's only going to be compatible, as we know, for iOS uh, with iOS 10.3 and 10.3.1, which means that you should not update the 10.3.2. And if you're on iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 jailbroken for the moment, you should not update to lose your jailbreak because we do not know if they're going to release it yet. This is very important. But how you can save your blobs? Well, I also made this announcement a couple of days ago on Twitter, and I saved. Quote, now seriously save the goddamn iOS 10.3.1 blobs. And uh, some of you told me about the SS saver being down, and uh, this means this website in here. And yes, I have seen that it actually doesn't save anymore the blobs. It simply gets in a, in a spin loop and it doesn't save them. But you can check them. You can still check them with this website. I do not know if Conan is going to save, um, to actually fix the website. I'm going to talk with him later. But... Uh, you can actually save them using Teamstar's own tool, and that is TSS Checker. That is available for both Windows and Mac, and Linux, is that, if that's your thing. And you can go ahead in here in this playlist, or um, I'm going to link the video in the description, and I'm going to show you how to save the blobs for your specific device. And um, you have tutorial for Windows, you have tutorial for Mac OS, and so on. The procedure is not hard, but you should do it, because if you don't do it, if, uh, if a method appears in the future to actually downgrade, then you're going to be locked out of it, because you're not going to be able to use it. Now, of course, the Prometheus method has been patched in iOS 10.2.1 and iOS 10.3. It used to work on 10.3 uh, beta 1, but then it got patched again. But Methods like Teamstar's uh, Prometheus can appear in the future. If you don't know, Alitech has actually uh, found a bug in the restore process that allowed you to restore back to iOS 9 if you had the iOS 9 blobs. Of course, not a lot of people have saved them because back then there was no possible way to actually downgrade without a jailbreak. So yeah, it's very important, save your blobs and you can check them in here on this uh, website. It's still working to check things. So after you save your blob uh, using one of the tutorials that I have in here, I'm going to link them down below. You're going to go ahead on this website created by one Conan and uh, click choose file and select the blob you have in order to make sure you can check it. To do that, I'm going to go ahead in here and select my blob. Okay, iPod. And uh, as you can see, it's an iPod 7.1 iOS 10.2 blob. And if I want to verify if this blob was saved successfully, and this is something you need to do, I'm going to select my uh, device type in here and then my iOS version for which I saved the blob. I'm going to uh, choose I'm not a robot and I'm going to click submit after the uh, verification passes. And as you can see, it's still able to check. And it says uh, rosy tag true. If, if it says rosy tag false, you might have problems. Uh, and you can see here it says img4 tool file is valid. And it says the file is okay and indeed working. The build number, which indeed is the build number of 10.2, and the board configuration. Make sure you save it for the correct board configuration. This is the restore behavior. It can either be update, erase, or OTA. 
do not save OTA blobs or do not use them because they are not actually compatible. But try to save them for erase for the moment. And this is how you check a blob. But uh, as I say, you need to save them because if Pangu does release something in the future and you're going to need to restore back, if a method for downgrading appears again, like TeamStars method, then you will not be able to use it because most of the methods that were created for downgrades ever all of them or most of them have been using the um, SH SH blobs in a manner or other. So keep that in mind, save your blobs is very important. Beta, um, the beta of the iOS 10.3.2 might come to an end soon, which means that 10.3.2 will be released in a couple of um, days or week, which also means that iOS 10.3.1's days are counted. So you should probably go ahead and save it now to make sure you're safe. Should you update the 10.3.1? No. For the moment, if you're running iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 and you're jailbroken, of course you should not leave your jailbreak behind and go to 10.3.1. As, as I said, we do not know if Pango is going to release anything yet. Although we do know that the Pango jailbreak is indeed real. Anyways, if you're on iOS 10.2.1 or on iOS 10.2.1, uh, Three, for example, if it's iPhone 7, you should still not update. If you're on iOS 10.2.1, look at it as Co has said, you should stay there for the moment. You should not update past it, and you should not update past 10.2 either. But um, if you're on other device on 10.3, you should probably be safe to update on 10.3.1. But do not update to 10.3.2 when it gets out. This is actually it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. Also, if you're interested about my custom-made firmware-related videos, which is a work in progress and a proof of concept, I have also updated the, um, the firmware manager, and it's now open source. And also, I have um, updated the FAQ page, or um, Frequent Asked Questions, to make the fact that is a work in progress much more cleaner and I did that as per request from somebody on Reddit. So if you are interested in checking that, I'm going to also leave that in the uh, description down below. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out.